Hi frolicking friends and welcome back to my channel. Today we have a special video since it is March 20th, 2021, which is the one year anniversary of Animal Crossing New Horizons being released for the Switch. So I thought it'd be fun to jump into Palm Fair and see what's happening. Hi Isabel, long time no see. I'm hoping she gives some sort of special announcement since it is the one year anniversary, but I was sadly disappointed. She just says, hmm, there really isn't any news to speak of today. How could you Isabel? It's been one year, one year of happy memories. So as you can see, I haven't played Animal Crossing for a hot minute, exactly. I haven't played since, there it is, New Year's Day. All right, so unfortunately my mic was not set up properly for the first little bit. So um, I went ahead and gave little Fauna a little bit of a more springy makeover. I don't necessarily love her outfit, but it works. Um, let me get the rest of my mail here. I uh, got a couple more things. The Bank of Nook. All right, we've earned 9,999 bells of interest. That's pretty cool. Um, we have a 138,388 rank S. And we have a lot of pieces that say mermaid and it really ties your house together. Cool. Can you believe it's been a year since we started this adventure with Nook Inc. Deserted Island Getaway Package? This calls for a celebratory gift from the bottom of my heart. Thank you. Yes, yes. Okay, so this is apparently what they are giving us for the one year anniversary. We'll check that out. And then my friend Lavi sent me. Ah, happy new year. Ah, thank you, Lavi. Okay. New year noodles. Oh yeah, I ordered that. We'll open that in a this is, I think, what Lavi sent me. Let's open that. Party poppers. And, okay, what did they give us for the one year? First anniversary cake. Okay, let's go see what that looks like. And I'll show you the inside of my house. So I've never really done a whole lot with the inside of my house, quite honestly. Um, but as you can see, it's still looking kind of like a Christmas cottage right now. So I definitely have a lot of updating to do. I'm sure I'll do like an updated tour um, after I fix up my house for spring but that is a very cute cake uh, happy one year anniversary cute okay well while I'm in here I'll show you the rest of my house so this of course is like the main living area um, and it's still decked out for Christmas stuff back here is one of my favorite rooms the kitchen <laughs> got cockroaches everywhere because I haven't been playing so I did like a cute kind of yellowy little bit of uh, mint green look for the, the kitchen here. Lots of the iron wood set going on here. Little pizza oven. I especially love all of the cute plants and clutter on the walls. So this is my kitchen. Then I think this is like a library over here if I remember right. Yeah, so kind of like a little library mostly, but I have some like different trophies. Um, kind of like an observatory not really but just like I had the butterflies on the walls and like this cute little like I don't even know what's in there but some sort of bug container and then over here's the bathroom very like cute airy spa like vibes going on I like this room a lot downstairs is the mermaid room that my letter was talking about so <laughs> this was kind of where I last was playing. I feel like I played really consistently all through the summer. And so with the mermaid update that came out with Pascal, I was going hard collecting all the mermaid stuff and working on this mermaid room downstairs. And then I kind of stopped playing for a little while. I played a little bit in the fall and kind of played consistently through till the new year and then I stopped again. All right, let's go upstairs for the bedroom. So this is the bedroom upstairs. It's in need of like a redo makeover. Oh yay, I got them all. Um, so I have like a cute little sitting area over here. You know, hang out with your girls for a sleepover. And then of course you have like a little getting ready vanity. Another little station over here. And then the bed. Very bright. 
so that's it for my house. Um, I definitely obviously really need to redo this room since it's not Christmas anymore. So I guess I should show you my map maybe. There we go. So this is my map. As you can see, my villagers are Deirdre, Flora, Diana. Rod was one of my original characters, uh, villagers, and he's the only one left. And I'm pretty sure I'm not going to have him move out because I want to keep at least one of my original villagers. Then we have Pappy, Julian, Becky, Skye, Marina, and Fauna are my absolute favorites. And Fauna I got from my good friend Lavi. Um, she originally, I have a second island that maybe I'll do a tour of at some point. Um, so originally Fauna went to that island and then I was going to restart that island. So I moved Fauna over here. And then I think I also ended up getting Fauna at that place too. I might have two Faunas. I can't remember. I also have a second villager I haven't really done much with. But this is Flora Bryn. Um, up there. So as you can see, I kind of have like a central villager town area. Um, and the overall vibe I was going for originally with Palm Fair was kind of a tropical city a little bit, like very like a little bit like mountaintop-ish. Um, and so with the whole winter theme that I was starting to redo, it's I feel like it's not the best time to show Palm Fair off, but I wanted to do this on, you know, March 20th exactly. So one thing that I recorded a video of and never posted was the update to where I ended up moving my house and this cute little area. So I think I'm going to go out back to the main entrance and kind of give you the full effect because we're kind of, uh, of course, coming out of the house, which isn't the nicest effect. All right. so. Over here was the like event plaza that I had worked on um, before. That was one of my first uh, little projects after I got terraforming. And so we have this cute little bridge. And then if I go down this way, that's the like villager area. But my house, if you come up through here, there's this cute like rainbow flower thing up on the cliffs and I just I love that view like you can see my house in the horizon back there and this cute little yard and and then this cute little waterfall area and my house is up there on the second level of the cliff so it's like almost this cute little hidden valley that my house is in and I love it so much it's like the best and if you come this way you can kind of hop across here and of course my flowers and weeds are out of control and I need to fix that up. Okay, we're just hopping everywhere apparently. But there's this little stairway down to the beach and I never really did anything with my beaches but um, I kind of started collecting like some mermaid stuff or the seashell stuff over there. I might put more mermaid stuff there now, I don't know. Um, yeah, so it was kind of this little secret pathway to the beach. Oh, so this is one of my favorite areas of the island is where my house is and then you have this cute little swinging bench here and this cute little sitting area which apparently I can't sit in because of that and then of course you could come around up here and view the rainbow flowers I did get all of my hybrids here you don't see any blue roses I'll definitely have to move some over here um, I feel like and then up here was kind of my stargazing area, so a cute little backyard and like a sleepover stargazing area back here for if there's shooting stars. So um, this is also an area I really like a lot and it's super cute at night because everything glows. And then I have this cute little like pizza place because again I pictured it being like a sleepover area. So you have the sleeping, uh, I think they call these the cots maybe? and then and then you have the, like pizza for a sleepover so yeah um which way i think i'm gonna go back out to my um airport and give you the tour from there okay so let's go ahead and start the tour uh, official like if you were starting from the airport here so um this was another area that i was super proud of um this entrance i worked really hard on I love that I have this bench here. There's been some times I've opened up my uh, island when I had good uh, turnip prices, and so I would just kind of sit here and greet everyone as they come in. Um, 
And if you come this way, there's another cute little sitting area next to this waterfall. Um, so I feel like the entrance here never really got updated for what I was trying to do with the winter theme And so I feel like this kind of random smattering of bright tropical flowers was really how my whole island looked And probably where I'll head back to again, although I might do kind of a more pinkish spring theme for the, the spring, but um, yeah, and then of course as you come across the bridge here, we can see KK is here since it's Saturday um, and this is my, um, I want to call it the town hall, but this is resident services. Let's see if there's any good notices here that I've missed. Oh, and I just missed Fauna's birthday. Um, oh no, that's March 26th. That's still coming up. Oh, and on March 24th. Okay, so we have two birthdays coming up. I'll have to do something cute for their birthdays. So yeah, this is my resident services. And then I have just this little plaza thing that wraps around. Um, and as you can see here, I have kind of a wintry path uh, still left over that I need to fix. And I had changed out all these flowers. I was going for like a blue and purple theme for winter um, that I don't know if I'll keep. I wanna do probably something different but you can kind of see those colors wrapped around. And of course you can see a lot of more blue roses over here. Um, if you come up here, this is like my uh, little free DIY area. This was an area I kind of want to redo because having all these DIY DIYs out made it so that my island had a hard time staying up. Perfect five star island because it counted as like essentially like clutter or trash on my island. Over here I had kind of a farmer's market and I made this cute little sign for it. Um, I'll link my Twitter where I shared a lot of these different um, things that I uploaded for Animal Crossing. Um, I don't have a ton of patterns but I did a couple. Um, so yeah it's a cute like little garden farmers market area and then if you come over this way this is like my actual garden and so in the fall I had this as like a pumpkin patch but this is my main like hybrid growing area as you can see I was really focusing on the blues and purples and a little bit of green for like Christmas um, so anyway that area needs to be cleaned up I have lots of blue roses though which is exciting um, and then down here is my orchard. So back in the day I had an orchard that was more rose and then I recently updated it to be this almost like fairy circle. With I did the little rock garden thing with all my rocks here. I need to clean this area out though. I didn't want all of the flowers and weeds. This was just a temporary holding area. As you can see, pockets were probably full so I dropped some stuff here. Oh, hi Sky. Haven't talked to you in ages. Welcome back airmail. Thanks, Sky. Um, so yeah, down here, this beach is really um, messy. This used to be where I kept all of my flowers. You can still see a little bit of that here, but I was really trying to clear out the beach. So we see a little less of that. Same as over here, I used to have tons of just flowers littering this area. So it seems really empty right now. All right, so backtracking a little bit, here's the farmer's market. And if you were to come up the middle between the two, as you can see by the sign, this heads towards Nook's shopping area. So as we come across the little bridge here, we have Nook's and the Able Sisters. Um, and kind of a cute little bench along the river here. So with this town, I really didn't do a whole lot with terraforming. I kept most of the island the way it came originally. Um, and so you can kind of just see that the uh, town layout is just really just trying to work around what naturally was here. It's, you know, a little bit messy, but I kind of love it. I have this cute little picnic area. This was supposed to be like a restaurant cafe area and it's kind of finished, but not really like it works. And then this was like a, supposed to be like a boardwalk kind of thing. So we have some different like stands and stuff along this beach here, a little beach side restaurant. That area is just random stuff, but here I had kind of like a, a beach cafe restaurant area. Then as we come up here, as you can see at least at certain points, I did have a five-star island. Um, you can see a couple of those Jacob's Ladders. 
Um, up here, I finally, for the longest time, I didn't have a, a path coming up to my campsite here or a, a ramp. I wanted it more hidden, but I eventually decided that I wanted to have a ramp up to my campsite. Um, and so I think this was probably there, yeah, when I did my videos back in the day. So this hasn't changed a whole lot. I just added some paths. And then I was working on putting like a little picnic blanket area up here. So we have that. And then this area, I haven't fully figured out what I want to do with it yet, but I did kind of like leaving it a little bit more empty and natural, like a little forest, just because so much of my island is very like developed and you know there's not a whole lot of areas where it's just like trees so for like some of the like acorn stuff I liked having at least a few trees that didn't have flowers all the way around that I could shake stuff now if you come across this way this does lead back to my house area this is the secret beach never did anything with that <laughs> just random storage um, but yeah there's my house again so if you come this way past the um, campsite uh, this was I was working on a wedding chapel so this is actually my second villager house and I was working on a cute like little wedding venue area I have a feeling at some point I'll do something different I'm just not sure what but let's go check out the inside <laughs> as you can see there's cockroaches in here too so this was supposed to be like the main chapel area apparently I never did get the I don't know if I ever got the groom's um, outfit or if I just never placed it yeah so here we have like the banquet area um, so I definitely need to update this I don't think I want to permanently have it be a wedding bit I was doing this during like that June event and so that's where that cat happened but my thought was I kind of just want this house to be used for different events for the different seasons and I'll kind of update it as we go but obviously I built it and then never updated it so we'll see. Um, I also did make this little wedding chapel sign and that will be on my Twitter that I'll have linked below as well. So as you continue past the wedding chapel I have just this long pathway that I never really did anything with but I had planned to put more tables or just I don't know cute town looking stuff but this leads to my well actually we'll go up there in a second this is like a little diner old school diner over here that um, still needs a little bit of work but it's certainly not too far off from being completed um, super cute and mint green and then up this way is my museum. And so I have um, a few fossils up there, some completed dinosaurs, and then a few fossils here. And then like a little bit of art. And this area is just a mess with flowers, but got the T-Rex going. And then of course my museum. I'm not really gonna go in there. Um, I haven't done the best job of getting all of the creatures but yeah you guys know what the inside of the museum looks like if this is uh, of course the town resident services and then as you go this way um, is where the villager area kind of starts so this is Julian's house and he has kind of this cute little backyard pool area and then this is Pappy's house and I tried to make the flowers kind of match the villagers. There's Pappy. Muffin, where have you been? I feel like it's been a while. I saved a snack to eat with you, but then I forgot which pocket it was in and I sat on it. Oh, Pappy. I'll get another one and we can eat that one together. Hey. Huh. And then this right here is Diana's house. And obviously her yard is way overgrown, but she had kind of a cute little picnic area. And then if you come down this way, this is Rod's house. This is where I put him originally, was on the beach. Ooh. And Marina! Oh, Marina's one of my favorites. Hi, Marina. Provided you to my club crazy for mooncake. Okay, I might have been the only member, but still, I would have joined your club, Marina. So yeah, that is Rod's house there on the beach. And you can cross this way, or there's the bridge up here. And we have Skye's house up here. And this is uh, Fauna's cute little house. 
Um, I feel like I never really, Twiggy used to live here, and I never really updated it to look the, maybe the way I wanted to, now that like I have a beloved villager living here. I liked Twiggy, but I mean, I, I just felt like it's a different level of love for Diana. Um, this is Marina's cute little house. So she also has a cute little pool in the background back here. And then, then we have Flora sitting over here. Oh, that's kind of a cute view. Oh, hi, Dancer. It's been a while. How are you? Were you away practicing your favorite hobby? Boogie boarding? <laughs> huh? That's not your hobby? Nope. Whatever. You shouldn't have disappeared without saying anything. I know. Now you have to make up for it. Lost time by hanging out with me. We've got a lot of fun to catch up on. Fair enough. So yeah, there is that. Um, and then down here we have um, Deirdre's house. And so here on the beach, I never did much with this. Again, uh, this used to be a big holding ground for all the flowers. And so it's just, I finally started to clear that out, but it's a little bit crazy. I do have quite a more flowers on the side here though. This is Becky's house. I feel like she's one of the main villagers. I'm ready to go. I moved her in because I was like, oh, you know, I I wanted someone different. I always like to, I, I mean, I might not always be able to keep it that way, but I always like to have at least a couple villagers that are just like trying on for fun and I don't necessarily intend to have them forever. This is Flora's house, by the way. Um, yeah, and she has like a little game area in the back. And then this is just a cute little tea area that leads back up to my house. But anyway, I like to have a couple of villagers that I'm just not really, like they're not dreamies, I guess I would say, so I'm fine with them moving away. And so Becky was one of those, and I feel like if she asked to move, I would say yes, go ahead. So this is the like event fair area. Um, and so it's kind of got a mix of, I had started to do it for Halloween, and so you can see by this design here that it was a little Halloween-ish, and then you know, I was starting to update it for winter area, so it's just a hot mess. And then here, yeah, you can see I have like a little Christmas tree for winter and some of the frozen things, and I had changed out all the flowers to be like blue and purple and green, so obviously weeds are overgrown and then up here there's just nothing really I don't know if I'll do anything with that in the in the future so yeah and this was one of the original areas I had terraformed to do that double decker waterfall and so back in the day this was like the bunny day stuff but I kind of have changed it out for the different seasons and it's time to update it for more of something springy and then if you come back over that bridge, you're back to the main area. So anyway, I hope that you enjoyed this uh, kind of where are we now, Palm Fair one year later update. Obviously this is not really a, a completed town tour of any kind because I haven't updated it for months, but I just really wanted to get on exactly on the 20th and show you the progress that Palm Fair has made over the course of a year. If you guys are interested in seeing like a, um, up, well not uh, an updated because you've never seen it, but like a town tour video of my second island, I do have a switch light so I'd need to just have Fauna go visit there because I don't necessarily have a way to record on my switch light, but I can still do a little town tour and I'll definitely probably post an updated tour video of Palm Fair once I get it updated for more of a springy look. Uh, maybe during the cherry blossom festival season. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and maybe consider subscribing. I mostly post um, Sims 4 videos, but obviously occasionally I post a little bit of Animal Crossing. Um, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and I'll catch you next time. I was going to say happy simming, but I guess <laughs> happy Animal Crossing playing. It doesn't roll off the tongue the same way. Happy crossings. There we go. Bye y'all.